Hello everyone, so in this video we will be covering how to install MongoDB on Windows. To start things off, let's open up our browser here and then we can type in mongodb.com to visit their homepage here. From there, we want to click the products menu here and then find the community edition option and then click on it as well. Then let's uh, scroll down this page here and click the download community button. Then let's scroll down this page again here until we find the version platform and package menu here. Uh, so for the version you want to pick the current one so you're, you're going to see it marked here. Uh, so it might be different by the time you're installing this. Uh, so yeah, just pick the current version. Uh, for the platform just leave Windows X64 and for the package leave MSI and then you can click this green uh, download button here. Uh, so the download started, so you just wait until it uh, finishes, of course. I'm just going to speed up the video until, until it's 100% complete. The installer is a bit bigger in size, uh, so you might need to wait a bit, of course, depending on your internet connection speed. Okay, so the installer is finally done, uh, so you can just uh, open it up here from your browser or you can just find the downloaded file in your downloads folder uh, so let's just click on it here and this should yeah start the installer uh, okay so we can close down the browser behind here so we can just press the x button there and yeah we can focus on the installer part of the of the process on this initial screen of course just uh, click next to proceed uh, then you'll see these license term agreements. Of course, make sure to read them really carefully. I already read them, so I can just yeah, uh, press this I accept the terms checkbox here. And then we can proceed by clicking next again. Now on this page, to, to keep things simple, you can just click the complete button here. Uh, also, you can see this notice that the Mango shell must be installed separately. Uh, we're going to handle that after this installation here. Okay, so let's just click the complete button then. And now here in this screen, you want to keep this install MongoD as a service. You want to keep that checked here, so it should be enabled. That's going to make it possible to run the MongoDB database process behind the scenes in the background. Uh, so you can connect to it from your applications, for example, or from your Mongo shell later on. Okay, so let's then click the next button again here. Now this screen is asking if you want to install MongoDB Compass. So this is a kind of a graphical user interface application uh, so you can uh, interface with your MongoDB uh, databases. You can leave it installed, you can study this later on if you're interested, but yeah, let's just keep it uh, enabled here, checked, and then we can click the next button again. And now as you can see here, we're ready to install MongoDB on our computers. So let's just click the install button here. Okay, so if you get this user account control prompt by Windows, you want to click yes to enable the installation to proceed. And yeah, it started now, so let's just wait until it finishes. As they noted here, the installation of MongoDB Compass can take a few minutes. So I'll just fast forward the video at this point, uh, but yeah, just patiently wait until it's fully complete. And okay, the installation of MongoDB is done. We can see that it started this MongoDB Compass application. Again, you can start that application separately, but let's just click the finish button to finalize the installation process. For now, you can just uh, quit this app and then just check it out later. Uh, so we can click the X button here. And now let's open up our browser again so we can actually download and install the MongoDB shell uh, that we can use to connect to our MongoDB database via the command line. So you can just uh, search MongoDB shell on Google, press enter here. It's typically going to be the first result. Make sure the website is mongodb.com, so their official website, and then click on that link here uh, to download the MongoDB shell. Let's uh, scroll down this page uh, here again. Uh, so for the version, you can just leave the uh, current selected one, so the latest one platform you can leave it at windows x64 here and then for the package this is important so change it from zip so click on it here and choose msi to get the actual installer and not the zipped package version so choose uh, msi here for the package again and then after you, you 
select the MSI here, you can click the download button to actually start the download process, of course. Uh, so let's just click on the download button here. So this download should be faster, of course. You can click on it from here, or you can find the downloaded file in your downloads folder. Uh, so I just clicked on it, and it starts the MongoDB shell setup. Uh, so we don't need our browser again, so we can just close it out here. And then uh, here we can click Next to start off the installation process. You can just leave this uh, default location here and uh, click Next again. And then we're ready to install the MongoDB shell. Uh, so let's just click on this Install button here. And this was much quicker, so it's already installed here. So we can just click on the Finish button and uh, that's basically done. Okay, so since we installed MongoDB as a service back in the installer, it should be now already running in the background, so we can try to connect to it from our MongoDB shell. You can open up your favorite terminal app, uh, for example, PowerShell on Windows, so you can click on the Windows Start button here, and then you can type in PowerShell, and then, yeah, choose this option here, click on it, and then PowerShell opens. Now what we can do here is type the Mongo S h command press enter and yeah this starts the mongo shell uh, so it has successfully connected to our database for example if we type in the show uh, db's command to show the databases we see that it returns the results so these are the default ones uh, so yeah you can proceed and use mongo shell to interact with your database from here and then let's also try to connect our database via the MongoDB Compass graphical application. So we can close down PowerShell here. And you should have a shortcut by default for MongoDB Compass. Or you could just uh, click the Start button here and type in MongoDB Compass without the space here. Uh, so either way, just yeah, select to start it. So I'm just clicking on it here. And then the first screen here is the new connection screen. So you can just leave this default database address. So this is the default for the local installation here that we just set up. So you can just click uh, connect here. And yeah, it looks like it's successfully connected to your database. So you can start working with this application from here as well. Okay, so that should be it for the initial MongoDB installation process on Windows. Uh, so we successfully set up our local host database with MongoDB and it's ready to be used. Uh, you can connect to it from your applications, for example, like Node.js apps. And yeah, just enable your applications to have a, a permanent storage via using this database system. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like the video, help support me. Please also subscribe to my channel. It means a lot, of course. And yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.